we're living in a time where people are just tired of being swindled. They're exhausted at trying to work hard and figure out if they should invest in your work. And let's get real, you're tired of reinventing the wheel just to try and meet every new shift in buying patterns. Like when did this become a game of cat and mouse that you constantly have to chase? The good news is there's a better, easier, and more aligned way, one that doesn't require you to constantly reinvent your marketing so you can create a set it and forget it system that works for years to come, creating ease and longevity in your marketing efforts, and one that pre-sells your leads, informing and empowering them to show up to sales conversations saying yes before you even make a pitch, and one that brings in the most high-end, ready buyer, the kind you thought you had to be further along to finally be able to work with, and one that creates deeper impact. Imagine if you your marketing was creating change even in the people who just experienced that marketing. And I promise you, it won't require you to sell your soul to the content gods or pour more of yourself into adding value without being reciprocated with yeses. So let's get real. Now, hey, hey, and welcome back to the Business Real Talk. I am super excited to have this conversation with you here today to talk about what it actually means to create transparent and timeless marketing that allows you to build brand trust for pre-sold clients that sticks. Now, here's the deal. Many people are feeling this inherent shift in the online space. It's kind of hard to miss. A lot of businesses feel like they're scrambling just to try and figure out what they should do next. The typical marketing tactics that made people millions from 2020 to 2023 are, well, just a little less effective right now. People aren't jumping on sales calls as easily. People aren't throwing their money at programs willy-nilly, and people are seeing a dip where the cost for acquiring clients has gone up and webinar registrations have gone down. Free events are highly attended, but conversions feel hard to come by. This isn't a Debbie Downer business sucks moment. It's quite the opposite. The truth is, this is a freaking amazing shift for experts. Notice that I said experts. The fake it till you make it ideals that many businesses were built on are slowly coming to an end. And hype marketing where the only buying trigger is how much money you made just isn't hitting the same as it used to. And let me be clear, you do not need to sell a low ticket Ascension offer just to be successful. But I do think we need to chat about why there's such a surge in these types of offers right now. See. People used to go to live events, webinars, et cetera, and they used to throw their money at people. Why? For two reasons. One was that there was this surge of cash flow and hope in 2020 where people were excited at this idea of change. Whether that was personal, professional, or business development, they were eager and ready. And second, there was just a lot of blind trust. People didn't understand that sales calls. So they jumped on them thinking they could learn, pick their brain, and people disguised the entire sales process as a coffee chat. And webinars were promised as these free downloads of information with nothing asked of in return. Let's just say there were a lot of big promises, blind trust, and exchange of money that left people frustrated and weary. And businesses that in 2024 are now scrambling to try and figure out how to make 2020 money. And low ticket ascension offers had a new surge inside of the market because buyers got smart. They stopped investing and throwing their money in without being 200% sure that they were making the right decision. They looked for proof for what these gurus and online businesses were offering that they were actually delivering on that. They didn't want to get catfished and low ticket offers were built to try and prove to buyers that they could be trusted. Because people wanted proof. They wanted proof that they were investing in the right thing. And sometimes when it got too difficult, they just decided that they didn't want to invest at all. And trials and guarantees were another thing that was created as this new norm. And they worked for a while to ease that fear that had built up. But there were so many loopholes, so many things that just left people more frustrated because that guarantee didn't actually protect them at all. Now listen, all of these options suck. Let's just be honest. Transformational experts like us don't actually want to have to feel like we're trying to prove ourselves. We don't want to use slimy and sleazy tactics just to try and make a buck. But holy crap, we also don't want to spend the majority of our time on marketing. Am I right? So let me put you onto something that will change your life. And I'm absolutely borderline shouting that because it's true. Myself and my clients have held steadfast. I mean, I had a client that I worked with 12 years ago message me recently saying that she has 20 X her revenue since working together, which in of itself is super cool. But what's even cooler is that she has been using the same system and strategy that we built then. 
Why? Now there's two big things. Number one is that that system and the strategies that we developed were all built to fit her. Number two was because it leveraged our transparent marketing and sales process, AKA it was timeless. Now, trust me, I love new and exciting things just as much as the rest of you, but I also know that new and exciting is just shiny. It's always changing. Trends are trends for a reason. They come and they go. People don't remember them mere weeks or months after they were all the rage, yet businesses have been caught chasing them. It's leaving you exhausted and in a state of chasing these marketing trends is the next new thing you need to do in your business. And the first thing we need to agree on is to quit the shiny trends. That means to stop jumping in on new platforms with the belief that it's just gonna be easier for you to create the necessary success and stop jumping on another new offer that you have to have in order for people to buy. And say no to the next big thing being peddled as the only way to be successful. And instead, committing to excellence, committing to the timeless strategies. And guess what? You can use new tactics for what they are, tactics that might drive that strategy so when someone tells you that there's a way to use AI to help you brainstorm content faster, that's a win. But if someone says, have all your content written by AI so you never have to write again, I say run. You have to make the decision to go all in on timeless success, timeless strategies that age like fine wine. So what exactly makes it timeless? That's the question, right? Here's a quick way to know. Number one is that it follows psychological principles because guess what? Psychology is pretty boring and timeless. It by and far remains steady. Five years ago, when I started building my bingeable decision system, I spent years studying decisions, our natural inclination to buying, all of those things. So instead of reinventing the whole sales system, I'm able to just make small tweaks as people evolve in the buying process. It's easy. Number two is that it needs to be leveraged. If someone has a strategy that only works under super specific conditions, it's a huge and instant no for me because guess what? Conditions change. So that million dollar Instagram funnel is amazing until the algorithm changes and next month you have to start all over again. A leverage strategy and system means that it works regardless of the location and perfect conditions. And hint, it's usually because it's based on psychological principles. See what I did there? Now, number three is that it's customized. Have you ever bought a pair of jeans that people raved about on TikTok or on Amazon and you put them on only to see that it makes your butt look totally flat and your legs look like sausages and you're like, what the actual F? Guess what? This isn't the sisterhood of the traveling pants and the same pair of jeans that fit that 5'10 TikTok model probably isn't going to fit your 5'3 mom body. We're all unique. So yeah, systems are great, but systems need to fit you like a glove. You're not just gonna take a system out of the proverbial box of online coaching or strategy and see that it just works. That strategy and system needs to and should be built around you. It should feel like it just makes sense and that you're not sure how you didn't see it before. Sure, you may take a second for you to have to unlearn all the things you've done before and acclimate to this new normal, but it should feel like you, but optimized, enhanced, streamlined, that new version of you. So whether it's been on your mind or this was the moment that broke the camel's back, it starts with committing to this idea of steady, boring, and timeless marketing that will outlive every new trend and leaves you focused and in your zone. So my question to you is, are you committed to timeless marketing or trendy marketing? And my next question is, does your current system or the one you're attempting to apply inside of your business follow these three key points? These are the questions you need to sit with and answer honestly so you can make this leap into the sustainable strategy that your business is craving. So how the heck do we develop a timeless strategy that lets people confidently say yes without all the crappy things that we've been told are necessary? Things like high pressure sales processes or outbound processes that are built to prey on people and like there's some sort of piece of meat for the taking. Or on the other side is this idea of spending months of back and forth coddling just to get people to buy. Well, it starts with this, out with the hype and in with transparency. So a few months ago, I was digitally introduced to this business coach. A friend of mine was talking about how this woman was everywhere and she couldn't get a read on her and she kind of wanted my opinion. So I decided to do some digging. I started with her profile. She was well put together, had a perfectly curated feed complete with branding photos and oozed this idea of effortless luxury. I was intrigued for sure. I watched her presence. I read her posts. I watched her reels. I scrolled through some of her lives. And one thing was for sure, she loved talking about money. Everything she spoke about was how much money she was making, how much money she was spending, how much money mattered. And every hook, every post, everything 
was centered around this. And my brain started to do what it naturally does, asking, well, how? Not because I thought it was impossible, but because that's what our brain naturally does. It starts to look for proof. But what I found was that no matter how far I scrolled back or how much I watched, there was little mention of how she created that success. I even opted in for her free and low ticket offer just to see if I was missing it. Still nothing. It was a ton of hype, which made me excited and intrigued even enough to want to keep looking. But I felt like I was going in circles. Every next thing I consumed just left me questioning, what the heck does this person actually help me do? Even in her low ticket offer, she built so much hype that by the end of it, you just wanted to buy the next thing to try and solve the puzzle. Even though I had learned diddly squat in the low ticket offer, I found myself being lured in, looking for a way to justify for myself that there was something in there and that I just needed to keep going. And there was this deep desire to try and put all the pieces together. What will she teach people? How does she actually make this supposed money? But I snapped out of it and it was alluring. But when I stopped chasing the high of trying to figure it out, I realized that this is what she was doing. She predicated an entire process that built on hype. It made you feel hungry for more, even though there was nothing behind the hype. My needs weren't being satiated, yet I was still hungry for more. Now my interest had turned into doubt, and that doubt was now met with seeing the actual real talk behind all of that hype. The perfectly curated feed, the big bold money claims were all tired tactics disguised as innovation. New names, but the same BS tactics that coaches had been trying to sell as a strategy for years. How the heck had I lost days on this? How had I fallen for this? I chalked it up to research, but the truth is I had fallen for the hype. It's easy to, to see what seems amazing, the perfect picture, only to realize that it was all a facade. Heck, this is what crime shows are made of. Men and women who seem so perfect only to turn around and murder their partners. Persuasion is a powerful tool in that way. It takes a normal brain and starts making it feel like it's chasing a high, but it's short-lived because as alluring as it feels in that moment, it doesn't last. People get smart. They start to talk to each other. They ask for refunds after spending tens of thousands and realizing it was a big game and reputation wins. It's a long game, but one that any business expert knows that they want to plan for. So out with the hype and in with transparency, because yes, it's true. People chase intrigue, but people confidently buy with transparency. You don't want to bait and switch people into working with you, using hype to get them into your world without anything to back it up. And you also don't want people to jump on sales calls with zero intent to buy just to try and pick your brain to say that they're not ready. Yet inadvertently, your marketing is set up for those outcomes. If you want people to buy without hesitation, without coddling, without pressure, you need to give them the necessary things that allow them to make buying decisions. It goes beyond just giving them information that's exciting and intriguing. There's psychology to pre-selling that gives buyers exactly what they need on a silver platter so that they can say, yes, this is exactly what I need and want within a matter of hours or days. So first off, it's time to do some more unlearning. Whoever told you to keep the how of what you do hush-hush lied. You don't need to keep your process a secret. You don't need to hide it away as if knowing the foundation of your method will make them not need you. That's utter and complete BS. BS that's built by people who had nothing to offer, that needed to hide away their process because it was all smoke and mirrors, and people who created a whole freaking business off all marketing hype and no results. But that's not you, not if you're here, you're a freaking expert. So it's time to start acting and marketing and selling like one. Now that we got that out of the way, here's the truth. There's a delicate balance between sharing every unforsaken detail of your work, like modules one through 75 bulleted out and giving people the right information that helps them make a decision right now. And I say this because so many impact-driven entrepreneurs are trying so hard to over-deliver in their marketing only to leave people exhausted and overwhelmed, which only leads them to not buying, which was definitely not the intention in what you were trying to do. It's about giving people enough information for them to say, yes, this has everything I need. It fits me. It can work for me. And I feel confident saying yes. It's intentional. It's concise. It's strategic. It checks the boxes in our brain that we naturally go through when making any decision. 
Now we tackled this in a lot more detail in episode 70, where we talked about compounding decisions, but simply put, transparency is about speaking to the necessary psychological checks that lead to decisions, removing this elusive baseline to hype marketing and laying it all out for people to see, standing tall in your expertise and letting your work, your method, your results do all of the heavy lifting. Because getting leads to sell themselves is more than fancy marketing messaging. It's a way of life. I want my people to be empowered. I want my people to feel like they can autonomously and confidently move through the buying process and make a powerful decision that feels really freaking good. And no, don't worry. I'm not going to leave you high and dry on this one. Let's get into the transparent marketing formula that empowers buyers to buy with ease and speed and lets you create a long-term marketing system that works for years to come without constant reinvention. Now, a few months ago, this man came into my DMs without permission. He pretended to be friendly, saying that he'd like to learn more about my business. I knew the truth, but I played along. We chatted in the DMs, the typical, what do you do? Which led to, hey, I was poking around your profile and I got an idea. Can I share it with you? And it ended with the familiar door of, hey, I help experts apply my frameworks and they usually make a minimum of 3x ROI in 90 days. Can I share some more details with you? Sure, I said, and then he hit me with the vague marketing that you see trailing all over the internet. Things like, hey, experts like you have been able to make 100K to a million dollars in uncollected hidden revenue. Our clients are generating 100 to $2 million in 90 days. I stopped him and I asked, okay, can you share with me what your method is? He repeated himself saying the same things that he said before and I stopped him again. I get that, but how? How do you actually do that? His response was, well, I can't explain that in a few sentences, so let's get on a call. Red flag, red flag, red flag. If the person you're talking to tells you that they're going to help you create a sales machine that makes millions and then goes on to tell you, but I can't actually tell you how in a few sentences, let's get on a call. Or worse yet says, well, the only way you can actually learn how that happens is actually inside of my program. Let's just say you should be running for the hills, okay? It's pretty much someone saying to you, just trust me, get on a call. I mean, imagine meeting a guy in a bar and him telling you that he thinks you're amazing and someone he could marry. But then when you ask him why, he says, well, come back to my place and I'll explain. You run. Our marketing process feels more like the sleazy guy at the bar just luring women into bed in a sales process that can try and push them so close. Like, ew, nope, that's not happening. It's 2024. This doesn't need to be so hard. People don't need to be coaxed or lured. So here's the formula for sharing the foundation of your transparent marketing system. So you can empower leads to say yes on their own happily and easily, and you can quit the trendy, hype-heavy, exhausted world of ever-changing marketing. So it starts with four very simple things, the who, the what, the how, and the why. So let's break it down. Who are you helping? And I don't mean that ICA exercise that you had to map out hypothetical person with no real basis. I'm talking about who can get results. Who needs this? What qualifications does this person need to have in order to be ready for your program? People should come to you saying, listen, I know you work with XYZ people. Just wanted to confirm that if I have Z, it still makes sense. It should be crystal freaking clear. The next thing is what? What are you gonna help them do? Listen, as a 20 year marketer, I know that you've been told to sell a big dream. And yeah, big, bold outcomes are important, but there's this level of transparency that's also necessary. So I can absolutely share examples of clients who are making 1 million in six months, but it's also imperative to show what they had in place and what they had to do to achieve that. Because if someone is buying into a belief that is well outlandish for their situation, you're doing them an injustice. Being realistic is what is possible based on them, and it wins the best clients ever. I mean, when I get on a call with a client and they say, Nas, I'd love to automate my entire sales process and make 100K in three months, and they've never made 5K, and they've never validated their message, my answer is, I can't help you do that. Sharing the realistic outcome based on individuals is what makes people say, this makes sense, I'm in while naturally deterring the people who want a magic wand and weren't willing to do the work anyways. The next piece is the how. Now let's say for example, that your strategy is rooted in cold DMs, but you're telling people that you use aligned strategies and keeping the fact that aligned strategies is actually cold DMing, you're technically catfishing people. Be honest and upfront. You're gonna attract a whole lot better clients who do the work and get results if they're clear on what your process is and if it aligns with them. 
we personally teach our method-based selling system because it does this flawlessly. It shows your proprietary or innovative approach that drives client results. So people can easily say, yeah, that makes sense. That fits my beliefs. I love this all without weighing them down with bulleted details of all of your modules. It's about giving them the insight into your method that gives them the pertinent information on how you drive results. Now, the next one is why. It's funny that people don't even think about this one, yet our brains do, especially when your approach is innovative, the why absolutely matters. Now, imagine for a second that someone told you that instead of a conditioner, you should actually be using dense oil in your hair to try and keep it healthy and shiny. You're going to be like, um, okay, no, I don't think so. But when they explain why, then your brain starts to say, oh, okay, I get it. And it gives you the proof of this new or otherwise controversial concept, bringing it full circle. There's no questions. There's no doubts. There's no hesitations. Just reasonable and logical proof of why saying yes makes sense. It's why I say that yes becomes the only logical solution because transparent marketing allows our brain to see that. Now, transparent marketing is literally what the EZS method is built on. It's about being the right solution to the right people with the right information and systems so that they can make a decision right now. And it all starts by understanding the three core concepts behind that and what allows you to create easy yeses. We start with really being able to create your innovative advantage. This is about winning the market, revolutionizing the industry, because it's not about competing for attention. It's about making your competition irrelevant so you can create inbound demand where clients are chasing you and happily paying without hesitation. We do this by helping you develop your innovative gap methodology, which targets ready buyers and showcases your innovative approach as the only and incomparable solution to high-end buyers. This step alone allows my clients to five to 10 X their prices and have clients happily lining up to work with them. Now, the next thing we do is we automate the conversion process by getting leads to sell themselves using the Netflix effect. This is done by using our bingeable decision system, our innovative approach that focuses on accelerating the natural decision process through a proprietary sales psychology technique and combines it with the power of bingeability. So it makes saying yes, the only logical answer because you're checking off the boxes as they're going through the buying process. This step alone turns cold leads and lurkers into hot paying clients within hours or days so you can focus on serving clients instead of convincing leads. Now, lastly is our pure profit strategy. This is where we leverage proactive programming to set your clients up for world-class results at scale so that you can leverage your two best and most profitable client sources, retention and referrals. There is a reason I am nutty, crazy, excited over the EZS method. It's because it understands and takes into account the fact that we want people to be able to transparently make buying decisions without us needing to handhold in them every step of the way, without us needing to pressure them, without us needing to try and catfish them into that purchasing decision. That is what I want for you. And that's why I want to invite you to the next step. If you're ready to finally see how the EZF method can work within your business so you can create a business that allows your leads to sell themselves so you can be on top of the world, changing the world and changing millions of lives, I want to invite you to the next step of jumping on a growth optimization call with me. This call is done directly with me. We'll look at your current client acquisition process or if you even have one in place right now, I'll share with you exactly where I see the biggest opportunities and how the EZS method can work to help you be able to make that dream a reality. You can head on over to easysleads.com backslash call to book your call right now. But if you're new around here, first of all, welcome. We're so excited to have you. Or if you just want to learn a little bit more about how the EZS method works, I want to invite you to check out our free bingeable mini series where you can see exactly how we use the Netflix effect to get leads to sell themselves. This three-part mini series can be binged on demand right now at easysleads.com. As always, we love and appreciate if you could just take a quick second out of your already busy day to rate, subscribe, and share this podcast with a friend. But until next time, here's to keeping it real.